I'm CEO of Sochi Games, and I grew up on the south coast of England, just a stone's throw away from one of the most iconic, largest music events ever to take place on the planet. The 1970s Isla White Festival attracted 600,000 people. In fact, it was so popular, the council vowed never to do another one. A friend of ours, John Ginnings, resurrected the event in 2000. Ever since that time I thought, wouldn't it be great if everybody could build their very own music festival, booking all the bands they love, their favourite headliners. So we built a company and a game, Music Festival's game, that enabled you to do that. proven really popular with music fans all around the world, we thought let's build a load of other music games. Because actually there's an opportunity here, not only to give players something new and something cool and exciting, a different way to interact with the music they love, but it's also a way to offer the music industry brand new revenue streams and new ways to get artists discovered. Sort of selling virtual merchandise through music gaming. We call it Verge. Nowhere has the impact of social media such as Facebook and Twitter been as large as in the music industry. The largest fan bases on Facebook and Twitter are music artists. Rihanna, for instance, has over 85 million Facebook fans. That's just one artist. In fact, there are over 100 artists on Facebook and Twitter with over 10 million fans. At the same time, these social networks have become the new playground for online gaming. The gaming industry too, just like the music industry, is shifting. While consoles still play a huge part, people still sit at home on expensive machines and play these large big budget games. An increasing number are also shifting to mobile and shifting online. So this is where Sochi plays. Bringing together the worlds of digital music with the already proven ability of online and mobile gaming to generate hundreds of millions of dollars per day in revenue popular mobile games are easily generating revenues in excess of $100,000 per day. Overlay over that success something that people really care about, i.e. music, and we believe Sochi's got the winning formula. And we've teamed up with some great partners. I've already mentioned the Isle of Wight Festival, but we've worked with Metal Hammer magazine, Raw Power Management, the heavy metal band Bullet for My Valentine, Roger Sanchez over in the States, and most recently the band Lawson, who've had six top ten singles. We created their only official game which was released over Christmas on Apple's App Store. The total fan base across Facebook and Twitter of musicians alone is over 3.3 billion. That's a massive untapped market. These artists have got these huge fan bases and currently still few ways to monetize them. I envisage a world where the concept, the whole idea of an album cover, an album sleeve, the CD insert, the static still imagery you still see even online to promote albums that that world changes to be a much more interactive, engaging experience. Albums will evolve with their player bases over time, with new micro games launched that provide an interactive medium for gamers who love their music to experience more of what the artist was expressing. Merging the worlds of online gaming and music is a very, very cool place to be. It attracts some great talent and it means we can work on some really, really exciting projects. There are enormous opportunities here at the intersection between these two worlds, and that's where we play, that's where Sochi sits. Mm -hmm.